after getting mercilessly booed in Washington, D.C. at the Libertarian Convention, Donald Trump headed to the NASCAR Coca-Cola 600 at Charlotte Motor Speedway. And you see him right there at the beginning of this video pretending he is getting cheered on by the crowd that is there to watch the NASCAR race, as our editor-in-chief Ron Filipkowski says, Trump pulls up to the NASCAR race today and acts like the crowd is cheering for him so his propaganda film crew can do a nice edit later. Uh, one commentator wrote, Oh my God, LOL, this is hilariously pathetic. Pathetic indeed, Donald Trump pretending the crowd is cheering for them, as uh, Nathan Fielder uh, said before. Out of the town having the time of my life with a bunch of friends. They're all just out of frame laughing too. I, I thought that post or meme was uh, a perfect fit for what Donald Trump was doing. Also, Donald Trump was there uh, saluting during the playing of Amazing Grace. He's there with Richard Childress, who used to be a NASCAR driver. Now he's uh, an owner of a, uh, a race car a company. And uh, he didn't know what to do when Donald Trump started saluting during the playing of Amazing Grace. And the whole thing was just incredibly awkward. Watch what went down. As our editor-in-chief Ron Filipkowski wrote, Childress only put his hand over his heart after Trump started saluting because I don't think he knew how to react to Donald Trump saluting during the playing of Saving Grace. Then Donald Trump just started walking around saluting everything during the day so his propaganda film team could get those shots of him in front of crowds just saluting everything. He salutes during Amazing Grace. He's just saluting random people. He's saluting airplanes. Then he's walking up into one of these trailers and Richard Childress is just getting annoyed because Trump is stopping every two stairs, either saluting or like putting his hand up so that his propaganda film team could try to capture these shots. Then he went to one of the ownership boxes at the race at uh, the Charlotte Motorway. And as our editor in chief says, just take a look, go ahead and zoom in on the crowd. See if you can find a single person waving at Donald Trump. There, There is none. It's just his team taking these pathetic propaganda photographs of him around big crowds to make himself look good. Like, remember last week where you had uh, at Yankee Stadium, there was like an individual who put the Trump flag by uh, or the Trump banner up during the Pledge of Allegiance. It was like one person, then Donald Trump reposted that. I mean, you're putting a banner of Trump's mug shot up in Yankee Stadium during the playing of the National Anthem to make him feel big and strong. I mean, you just don't get more pathetic than that. Oh yeah, and as Trump arrived in Charlotte in his airplane, as he was flying over the stadium, uh, the crowd was told by the announcer to cheer for the band that was playing Matchbox 20, but Trump and his influencers tried to pretend the crowd was clapping for his airplane that flew right over the stadium. Like Benny Johnson, this MAGA influencer goes, listen, Trump flies over the Coca-Cola 600 in Charlotte, North Carolina, and causes the crowd to go crazy. Listen carefully to this clip. What the announcer is telling the crowd to cheer for is Matchbox 20, but don't let that get in the way of Fox and MAGA Republican propaganda. Here, play the clip. Now, 
that was in Matchbox 20. It was former President Trump aboard Trump Force One flying over the Coca-Cola 600. Just compare this, though, to what was President Biden doing this weekend? Well, President Biden was at the West Point uh, class of 2024 graduation. As one commentator put it, President Biden spent 70 minutes congratulating, saluting. That's when you're supposed to salute and shaking the hands of each one of the 1,036 graduates. Plus, he gave his speech, but it's not worth any commentary by the media, so you know he did well. Here's what well, we cover it here on the Midas Touch Network. President Biden then posted, America is strongest when we lead not only by example of our power, but by the power of our example. To the West Point class of 2024, congratulations. You make our entire nation proud. And then President Biden posted this video from his speech uh, to the class of 2024 at West Point. Play this clip. Freedom is not free. It requires constant vigilance. And for, from the very beginning, nothing is guaranteed about our democracy in America. Every generation has an obligation to defend it, to protect it, to preserve it, to choose it. Now is your turn. And so while Donald Trump is out there pretending that a NASCAR crowd is clapping for him, President Biden was at Uvalde in Texas. Um, here's what he had to post. It's been two years since 21 innocent souls were taken at Robb Elementary in Uvalde, Texas. No community should ever have to go through what their community suffered. We have to do more. It's time for those who obstruct, delay, or block common sense gun laws to act. While Donald Trump is taking uh, photographs in front of uh, crowds to pretend they're cheering for him, which they are not, just the height of being pathetic, President Biden speaking with American workers who are benefiting from uh, his platform of investing in America through the Infrastructure Act and the Inflation Reduction Act. President Biden posts, My investing in America agenda is fueling a historic boom, rebuilding our roads and bridges, developing and deploying clean energy, revitalizing American manufacturing, and more. And as President Biden is posting that, Donald Trump is saying that uh, the crowd last night at the Libertarian Convention, he said, was enthusiastic. And he said he would have gotten the Libertarian nomination had he just filled out the paperwork. Trump post, everyone could tell by the enthusiasm from the crowd last night, he says, at the Libertarian Convention in D.C., he would have gotten their uh, official endorsement had he just filled out the paperwork. Again, so utterly pathetic. In the meantime, uh, the Libertarians who were there continued to dunk on him after mercilessly booing him. Remember, Donald Trump utilized the Secret Service, our taxpayer dollars, to confiscate the squeaky toy chickens that the libertarians wanted to squeak while Donald Trump was giving a speech. Those were confiscated because of Donald Trump's very teeny, tiny, frail, little ego. Um, but as this, as Todd Hagopian, who goes by libertarian in chief, says, congratulations to at real Donald Trump for getting six out of the 800 plus votes after begging the libertarian, begging like a dog, begging the libertarian, as Donald Trump would say, begging the libertarian national convention to nominate him. By the way, Ben Dover got one vote. Stormy Daniels got one vote. So Ben Dover and Stormy Daniels almost got more votes than Donald Trump did. Um, by uh, the libertarians uh, in terms of who they were um, ultimately endorsing. And of course, Trump was booed throughout the night. I'll just, let me just give you two examples of him getting booed. Play this clip. The Libertarian Party should nominate Trump for president of the United States. Whoa. That's nice. That's nice. Only if you want to win. Only if you want to win. Maybe you don't want to win. Maybe. 
maybe you don't want to win. Thank you, D-Roy. Here's another example of him getting booed. Play this clip. Combined with us in a partnership, we're asking that of the libertarians. We must work together. Combine with us. You have to combine with us. We cannot give crooked Joe Biden four more years. I just like playing those videos of him getting booed. But because of that, then Donald Trump went to this NASCAR race and he and he was pretending that the big crowd was supporting him when they just wanted to watch the game. That's what Donald Trump um, does these days. Again, so utterly pathetic. But compare him just saluting to during the playing of Amazing Grace while and pretending the crowd is supporting him so we can get those propaganda shots that hopefully the media puts out versus what President Biden was actually doing. I'm Ben Micellis from the Midas Touch Network. Hit subscribe. Let's get to 3 million together. Thanks for watching. Enough! Send it to the big house, not the White House. Get the new exclusive tees, mugs, and stickers right now at store.midastouch.com. That's store.midastouch.com.